Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, April 28th, DDL hosted a webinar and they gave an update on InfiniDrive Cosmo Vector. Cosmo and Friends, Butter Robot and Cavu. If you want to know what is Cavu, don't go away. So guys, this was a long webinar, an hour and a half, including the question period. So if you don't have time to watch a video on YouTube during an hour and a half, I invite you to watch this video. It's only a few minutes and you'll get a full update on what's going on. And I'm going to put pictures as I talk so you will see what DDL showed uh, in slides during the webinar. They call it the state of robotics. This was on April 28th, like I said. And uh, the first slide they showed is the, uh, well, tips for enjoying the today's webinar. They showed that tips all the time or those tips. And this was the agenda. What was new during this webinar was Cosmo and Friends and Cavu. We did not have that in previous webinars. So let's jump right in, into it. I don't want to take an hour and a half to give you the update, just a few minutes. And I have here my little sheets. I took a few notes. So basically on Infinite Drive, again quickly, I don't want the video to be too long. They want to expand on the gameplay. It's going to be more like a video game, but with actual cars moving around and you have an app. You can remote play with friends. There will be AR. Uh, I think I have a picture here showing. Yeah, they showed an example. Uh, Brian showed an example where he was playing uh, or racing against somebody. And you can see on the picture here, you can see flying cubes. So he was shooting at the other car. So this is what they mean by more gameplay and uh, AR. They'll have also a cooperation with Dynamics. It's a local company, uh, local to uh, Pittsburgh. I'm not sure what Dynamics will do exactly, but it's a cooperation to enhance uh, what Infinity Drive can do. And they showed here a few pictures here of the, uh, of the new app, as you can see. And like I said before, the main new feature of, of Infinity Drive will be the power drive, where you can race your car on this special track, and that track will charge your car as you go through. So this is something very interesting. Now, they spoke about Vector before Cosmo uh, this time. And um, what is interesting here, you will see, uh, they, they talked about the escape pod. But what's interesting is that on May the 5th, they will have free of charge a tutorial session to show you how to set up a Raspberry Pi to run the escape pod with a vector. May the 5th, hopefully you see this video before May 5th, but this is quite uh, interesting. Um, they talked about a few things here which are, are not very important. I just want to focus on the important things. Jacob, the CEO, stepped in and he said, how fast can we assemble? So it looks like they're ready to assemble. They're out of or done with the testing. And he said, are you seated? In the next couple of weeks, we are going to start seeing unboxing videos on YouTube. In the next couple of weeks. Today is April 28th. He did apologize. Uh, honestly, he was honest. He did apologize for the little delays. They had apparently major issues. I believe it, not only COVID, but they are manufacturing in China and they are located in Pittsburgh. So it is not easy. Um, and then they, they spoke about Cosmo. Let me show the slide here. This was the shipping update. Actually, I forgot to show the slide. This was the shipping update that they showed uh, here. Manufacturing process. We are here. End of production. And as you can see, they will a DDL will cover shipping costs and import duties for all pre-orders. This is good news for many of us, including myself. And finally, Cosmo. I uh, spoke about that before at the last webinar. They want to support educators by having special deals 
on bundles of Cosmo. I think that's the way to go. I said that to Enki four years ago in an email when I was in communication with Enki uh, management or a, one of the managers. I said this is something they should do. Replacement cubes are available as we speak, so you can order new cubes. And the repair center, apparently the turnaround is three days. If you want to change like the battery, you send your robot in three days, you should receive it back. They did say that Cosmo will start to ship after Vector. So when Jacob said in a couple of weeks for Vector, Cosmo will be after. They did not specify a date uh, for, for that to happen. A little bit of a bad news, in my opinion, with Cosmo 2.0 is that it will require a new app. And when I hear something like that, a new app, I'm thinking new bugs, right? When you develop a new app, you always have new bugs. So unfortunately, well, hopefully, we will not see a lot of new bugs with the app for Cosmo 2.0. And they show the manuf manufacturing process here, as you can see. So a little behind a vector. Cosmo and friends, some of you may know about the uh, the YouTube channel. They have um, they have now. Let me show you here. They have 35 animated episodes, as you can see on the slide. They feature Cosmo, Wismo, and Cavu. Again, I'm going to talk about Cavu in a few seconds, or maybe a minute. So I invite you to go to see the uh, YouTube channel. It's, it's very well done. It's very professional. It's anima it's animated series featuring Cosmo. And Vector is also showing up once in a while. Uh, Roblox, as you can see on the slide. If you play Roblox, guess what? There are three levels where you can play with Cosmo. And the goal uh, from uh, these guys is to have one new level every month in Roblox. Interesting, they showed pictures here uh, of uh, a few of the videos here. This is a picture that they have in one of their animated videos or episode. You can see another picture over here. So this was uh, an interesting presentation, I must say, on uh, Cosmo and Friends. Now about the robot. Nothing really new. I just want to say that very briefly, they have better motors. A better robot can speak. He can generate speech. He can recognize people. He has a camera. Um, manufacturing update was not very clear. Not sure when they will start to ship. They did not mention anything. Uh, they just said that they're still in the testing phase. But as you can see in these pictures, this is here Brian. I believe, I think so. He has a prototype. So he was showing a prototype moving around. He was using his hat. He was showing here what he sees through the camera on Butter Robot on this uh, picture. And here a uh, manufacturing update. As you can see, they are still in the testing phase. So not in production. And uh, now let's go back to Cavu. This looks like CAVD. I'm not sure I like the logo. It's a it's an inverted or a side a sideways U at the end. But if you don't know it's Cavu, you would you would think it's CAVD. So I'm not sure I like that. So Cavu stands for Ceiling and Visibility Unlimited. So you guessed it right. It's the flying robot, and you have a picture over here. So Dragonfly is a well-known company. Uh, they started in 1999. They've been around a very long time. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, it was the first company making drones. And they started in the public service and safety drones. Public service, I think they made, and they're still making drones for the police force. I'm quite sure they make drones for the police and also for safety for um, search and rescue operations. Uh, so it's going to be, they did say, and there is only one slide, they did say that it's going to be an in-house drone. And it's going to be autonomous. 
I can see with obstacle avoidance, I can see the drone flying around inside the house, avoiding the walls, avoiding your expensive TV screen. That scares me all the time. When I fly a drone in my house, I fly in the basement. If you follow my channel, you know that I have also drone footage. I never fly, I never fly an indoor drone in front of my, of my 70 inch TV. Never. So, in the basement. But, they're designing this Dragonfly company in cooperation with DDL, a autonomous indoor drone. Again, they said indoor. It's not on any slide, but they did, they did say indoor. And then there was the question period. So, my comment, so that you don't have to uh, watch an hour and a half video uh, when uh, DDL posted it on their, uh, on their YouTube channel or maybe even the website. There was no definite shipping date on Vector. And today is April 28th. Jacob did say in a couple of weeks. No clear shipping date on Cosmo, but they did say it will follow after Vector. Uh, no shipping date on an Infini Drive. And no shipping date on Butter Robot. That is understandable. They're still in the testing phase. Uh, we saw a prototype uh, and that was working. And Dragonfly uh, is a cooperation that is just starting. Uh, they didn't say when they will. They think they will be in a position to, uh, to sell a um, flying robot that looks like will be called Cavu. C-A-V-U. They say Cavu, not Cavu. I'm quite sure. Cavu, I think. So guys, this is the update. The good news is that Vector is shipping soon and we should start to see unboxing videos. So one will be on my channel, Super Dan Tech. I've been waiting for uh, two years now since I'm a Kickstarter uh, Kickstarter backer. Two years ago, Vector 2.0, so I should receive him soon. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, if you have any questions, maybe there is something I did not cover, let me know, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day. Goodbye, guys.